What is up, guys, and welcome back to the Zozums. It's me, once again, the only person on this YouTube channel, and today we are taking a look at the CR-42 Falco, my favorite biplane. Not just because it comes with 12.7 mils, but because it, it's quite fast, actually, for being a biplane. Um, it's an Italian biplane, which is kind of special, because there's only a few Italian aircraft in the game, since... I mean, we all want an Italian, like, um, nation by itself, but what can you ask for when you have, well, Gaijin behind the wheel? <laughs> so, yeah, just going over the Italian lineup, you have six, yeah, you have six aircraft for the Italians. Okay, I take that back, seven. And you have the two CR-42s, and then you have the G-50s, the MC-200s, and the MC-202. But that's aside from the point. This thing is pretty good at, any, if I, bleh, at everything it is battle rating except turning. Now, this may be surprising to you because it's a biplane, but, you know, whatever. So, this was designed by Fiat, I know that, and I don't actually know anything about other than that, other than the fact that it was used as a combat aircraft for in Belgium. Yeah, okay, that's it. Um, maximum speed for this thing is 429 kilometers per hour at height of, at a height of 5,200 meters, which is kind of surprising. Max altitude for this aircraft is 8,500. Higher than my Yak-3Ps. I'm kidding. No, the Yak-3P has another 2,000 meters to go, but it starts losing performance around here. Turn time, 19.2 seconds. Nothing spectacular. Rate of climb, 17.2 meters a second. It's okay, I guess. Takeoff run, 294 me meters. Um, taking a look at what this thing is armed with, it is armed with two 12.7 millimeter Breda Safat machine guns. Uh, it comes with 800 rounds of ammunition. They're not all that fast firing, but at their battle rating, they can do quite a lot of damage if you get them on target. I suggest using air target belts. I learned that from my friend BL. Yep. So if we take a look at this thing from X-ray view, it has no armor whatsoever, so I'm not even bothering going there. It has a pretty hunky engine in the front. It has, I mean, it's not like the SPD-3's engine or anything like that. We're... It has, like, one line of cylinders. No, it has two. So that's okay, I guess. That's not what I wanted to do. Oops. Um, hold on. Uh, okay, there we go. We're back. So right behind the engine, we have the oil cooling system. Then we have a fuel tank. And then we have another fuel tank down here. Off to the side, we have an oil cooling system right there. And I think on this side, we have an oil cooling system. Yep, I was right. So then we have the machine guns themselves, which are the derpiest looking things I've ever seen in my life for machine guns, but okay, whatever. Float your boat. Um, Italy. You go right ahead and do that. The best the rest of the aircraft is either wing spars or control surfaces, so there's nothing really to worry about here. Um, I have the Belgium 1940 skin on currently because I like that and because the user skin I have for this thing has a swastika on it and I don't want to offend anyone or have everyone after me because I showed a Nazi symbol in the game. So this, I have the Belgium 1940 skin on. I, the standard skin for this thing is basically the exact same thing, just um, more dotted, I guess you could say. But yeah, that's literally it. So back to Belgium 1940 because I like the skin. You'll both be fighting in Europe. Unless you get Sicily, which is kind of interesting, because I've never gotten Sicily with this thing. A um, little update before I go into the battle. My computer, my new computer is on the way. Should be here in about a week. Okay, yeah, I will see you guys in battle. Okay, guys, so I am back with my battle that I played. I squatted up with... Um, Brazilian Overlow, otherwise known as BL. He's also in the squadron, if you haven't seen him before. So, we're just going to fly our things. And this was before I got my Belgium skin, which is just handy and dandy, but whatever. 
So, take off. You know, nothing special. I'm just going to speed it up. Um, yeah. Come on, computer. You can do this. Yeah, apparently... The read time for this thing, when just trying to read the replay files, isn't all that good. Whatever. You just have to kind of pause it. it it'll go from there. And once again, glitchy things. The bar ran out. So we climbed for a little bit. Nothing spectacular. And it turned out that we got sort of up tiered, I guess? I mean, we had Spitfires. And that, I mean, Spitfires aren't all that hard to deal with in the Falco. But, you know, I don't usually see Spitfires in this thing. Um, other than that, we have the normal, as this we'll see, P-36s, P-26s, P-40s. Yes, you can see P-40s in this thing, because the P-40 has had its battle rating... Battle rating? Yes. Battle rating, um... Like, put down a lot. And I mean a lot. It's kind of sad, to be honest. I mean, I when I play the P-40, I slaughter in it. So our first target that I will be firing at is the Spitfire over here. He decides to come up at us and he starts stalling. Good for him. So I dive down onto him. And I try and fire a few shots in. Nothing spectacular happens. I get a few hits, I think. And off we go into the sunset. BL proceeds to dive in after him, but he doesn't get anything either. Now, I'm... I, you know, I lost control here because I had too much speed. <laughs> Oops. And this thing can actually retain over 500 kilometers per hour without ripping, which is pretty nice for a biplane. I will admit. So the P20, P36 is just flying away now, and I, I don't even know what I'm going for here. I'm just diving straight into the action. So... My number one priority is to probably kill the P-40 that's on BL, so I do so. Or at least I fire a few at him. Fire a few at him, get some hits, and he smacks into the ground first kill. Because, you know, logic. So then I see the TBD, I'm like, okay, why not? Fire a few shots into him, he's on fire. Second kill of the game. Then we have a Thatch's Buffalo coming in, I evade his maneuvers, and then we have a Hurricane Mark IV on our tail. Do my best to evade him. And that's that. Now, BL has completely buggered off to where I don't even know. I am now engaged in a dogfight with said Thatch's Buffalo, and I fire a few rounds into the P-26, because why not? So I'm on the tail. I, I let him on fire as well. Which is pretty swanky. So there's my probably third kill of this match. Now the Thatch is... And actually, no, the Thatch is, is kind of derping around. The Hurricane Mark IV is still on my tail, and BL has come to save the day. I am now firing at the P-36 Hawk. That is this thing's probably worst enemy, as in the P-36 Hawk does have a lot more speed over it. However, it doesn't have maneuverability, and it doesn't have the guns, really. So, oops. Hurricane Mark IV was knocked out by BL. I have three kills now after I shot, after the P-36 smacked into the ground. That's all very occasional in this fact. I mean... These matches is for stuff to smack it to the ground. Because people don't really know how to fly. So the Thatch is Buffalo. I try to go and hit on with him. Don't, think, don't, get, any get, yeah, don't get any hits on him. Because he evades. And now he is on my tail. This is where I take the only bit of damage I really take in this match. Is from the Buffalo right there. Now I'm kind of hollering at BL. Come and save me. Come <laughs> save me. The thing is on me. So yeah, we're now both... The both of us are engaging this buffalo. So, by now, I have two assists, three kills. Score of 1,386. So I try and go up for the P-36. I fire a few shots in it. Well, actually, both of us do. I fire a few shots at him. I don't think I get any hits here. Oh, well. Yeah, so I peel off. I go for the buffalo, who is now on my tail again, but he doesn't do any damage this time. So I loop back around after he goes for BL, and he flies all the way into the distance. Because the buffalo can out almost outmaneuver you, but it can outspeed you. It's a pretty good aircraft. I mean, it's basically... Well, actually, no, the buffalo by itself is an aircraft up for its own. I was, gonna, I was thinking of the F-3F. The F-3F is basically a buffalo with another wing on it. Actually, that's literally what it is. 
So I fire a few shots in here. Don't really get anything too spectacular. Now he makes the mistake of staying still here. This gives me time to be on his tail. Biel's like, well, too close, man. Too close. But I don't care. I just keep firing. The 109 late comes in. Not sure what his point was. I mean, it's a 109B1 for Pete's sake. So, I get a few hits in. He rams a building and I get another assist. Three kills, four assists. Um, this match does drag on for a good amount of time. I go back to base. Uh, land, repair, rearm. So does BL. BL somehow manages to flip over his aircraft on landing. But anyways, we're back up, and the last dude is Object 701M in the Hurricane. Now, this dude is a complete turd. Level 100, he camps at his base the whole rest of the match, from what I know. So me and BL try to be sneaky, and try, to try and drag him away from his base, along with the MC-202 here. And we don't really get anything out of them, so... I just kind of go YOLO swag 420 blaze it mode, and I dive in on him. I don't even give any sh a crap anymore. So the AA has been distracted, but the AA, you know, it's War Thunder. The AA will shoot you down if you go anywhere near the enemy airfield. Gaijin, why? I mean, it doesn't make any difference. Literally. All it does is make a nice little spot for people to camp. Please. I know you probably won't watch this video, but it's, it's, I'm just pissed off that this is happening. Anyways, I'm just... I don't even care anymore. I'm not even going to jump cut it onwards to the second match. So, once again, I was squatted up with BL. I think me and BL played three, maybe four, five, six games in this thing last night. Um, keep in mind that after the battle I just showed and this battle... Two battles, guys. I spaded my Falco. This thing's pretty easy to spade. Just gotta get a few kills, a few assists, you know, you're gonna be, you're gonna be pretty good. So here we are again. I hope BL hasn't loaded in yet, but I am taking off. So let's speed this up. Once again, with the ticker counter is being weird. So that's just freaking great. Now, if this thing's battle rating, you will find Heinkel 111 AOs. Sometimes you'll get a Heinkel 111 B. G50s, BF 109 B1 lates, other CR 42s, Doe 17 Zs. Yeah. You will also tend to see Kingfishers, Gladiators, you know, Nimrods, stuff like that. Low tier Brits and low tier Americans. Occasionally you'll get the low tier. Um. German. Anyways, our first target to pick on is this poor little Nimrod Mark 1. I. I mean, the Nimrod, it's it's not fast. It can maneuver okay, I guess, but, I mean, the guns are crap. I mean, let's, me, me and BL just kind of decided, let's put it out in misery. And BL takes off his wing clean. There's my first assist of the match and BL's first kill. Now, we kind of decide that we have to go over the P-26 now. We, Because we're not really sure which variant has the 12.7 on it. I fire a few rounds in there. But, you know, stuff makes it off. BL hits me a few times. I don't care. P-26 is going to go down. I'm diving in after him no matter what. So, he goes into the vertical. This is why... This is my best suit, is people going into verticals thinking they can outmaneuver me in the vertical or something like that. Because I am great in verticals. I will take off your wing. My frame, rates incre my frame rate increases by a lot. Like, 30 to 60 frames. It's crazy. And that's where my strong suit is. So, if you ever encounter me, if you know who I am, don't go into the vertical. That period. Just don't. Anyways, me and BL are now heading towards the main action. Gladiator, Hurricane, and a P-26. Um, yeah. Let me speed this one up. So we put out our smoke to be cocky. Because why not? 
So let me speed this up a little bit more here. Okay. So Biel is now on the tail of the Gladiator Mark II. I decided to go for the Hurricane Mark II. Because, honestly, that Hurricane was our biggest threat at this battle rating. He has a lot of guns. In it, and if those guns are loaded with tracer rounds, you know, there's kind of a... So I get a crit into the Gladiator instead. And... But he proceeds to still fly because it's damages to the wing. So the Hurricane, once again, he has three kills, and it's a relatively good aircraft at this battle rating. So that's this thing's probably main enemy. Um, yeah. These guns are firing way off a target because, you know, replay battles, but I can, hurry, I can assure you that I was hitting him every single time here. Now he starts smoking. I... Just completely go YOLO swag 420 blaze it mode on the guns here. We both stall out, but he stalls out a little bit. Well, his aircraft's a little uh, heavier than mine, so he proceeds to go under me. We go into a little roll, or at least I do. He's just kind of there. And, yeah. I put another few shots into him. Crit on the tail. More shots, more shots, more shots. And... He smacks into the ground most valuable player is on the uh, is out now so the last person alive is the p26 over here i'm not sure if he gets shot down by the g50 so we're gonna speed this up and he smacks into the ground now one of the things that i like to do with this thing is always right at the end of the battle just kind of scoot along the ground because you know why not i mean it has it has landing gear that don't rip when it's speed so why not i just kind of fire off the rest of my machine gun rounds as well Woo. Go for a little landing attempt, except I don't really land. I just kind of scoot along the ground. Why not? Yeah. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like down below. And it encourages me to keep making this stuff. If you really like this video, please subscribe. It tells you, that'll tell you when my new videos come out. There you go. Um, if you disliked it, dislike it, please. That tells me I need to improve my stuff. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, you know, stuff like that, leave it in the comment section down below, because that also helps me out. So, yeah. If, um, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.